short and sweet. Hi folks, we talk about music today. Cubase is a music production suite and Cubase 14 in its pro version comes with so-called modulators. Let me show you a very basic way of how to use them. I start with recording a simple chord with one change. The change is not necessary for this example. We just need a straight sort of sound. With a double click, I see the details of this new MIDI recording, a rough quantization, the key Q is the key to choose here, and the recording is pretty much finished. Yes, I know it's a horrible synth sound, but we will modulate it now in order to create a rhythm from it. There's a tab at the bottom where we find the modulators, six all in all. Let me choose the step modulator. It's waiting for an input. From the pull-down menu I select the volume. Nothing happens until I modify the straight lines on the left. With the left bar blank I get this pulsating effect. It gets even stronger with the left bar up. The knob below changes the frequency of the pulse. The pulse can be created in other ways, I know, but the modulator is the new way to go. Let me create a drum track. and the drums are perfectly in sync. Here is a little composition where the first track is a choir modulated with a step modulator. This rhythmic breathing gives the piece a slightly scary human touch. Finally, let me show you how to connect two modulators so that the second one modulates the first one. First a new pulse, this time with the shape modulator. As a second modulator I choose the LFO, LFO stands for Low Frequency Oscillator. I want to modulate the on-off switch of the first modulator, so it switches on and off in the rhythm of the LFO. It is called Bypass. You see on the left side how the originally pretty straight modulation line is being modulated and the on-off switch is active too in the rhythm of the beat. Have a good day.